Hey guys, it's Dan here from Your Guitar Academy and welcome back. I'm here again with the amazing people from Guitar Control to deliver you the final lesson in this four part series all about fingerstyle, all about playing fingerstyle. So far we got up to this point. resolve it now today so I'd like as always I'd like you to listen to the full thing all together okay if you've seen it now three times then you can you can skip it if you like but if not make sure you listen to this, this is what we're trying to achieve I've heard that loads of times hopefully the melody is really deeply stuck in your head and you'll notice that there's loads of other parts going on on top of the core finger style section our focus is that finger style section and you can see how when you watch me play it through that's what I'm doing I'm just looping that bit around and that's what your job is I wanted to put it together in a proper track for you so you've got a real clear goal of what you're trying to practice you're trying to practice this specific part to play along with this track at that speed that's your goal Okay. But remember, if you're really loving the idea of fingerstyle and it's, it's something a little new for you and you want to just get into it with a full proper course structure, then you can do via the link below. We've got our wonderful tutor, Thomas, um, one of the best fingerstyle players I've ever met, who works for us here at Your Guitar Academy, and he's got two fantastic, and almost three actually, uh, fingerstyle courses that we, you can go through. The link will be below. But for now, we must complete this masterpiece. And this last bit simply goes like this. So, what's this? What's going on here? Well, this, my friends, is a G major chord. As I said to you at the end of the last one, we have this quite unresolved sound, which we need to resolve to that major, that G major chord, okay? But seeing as we're up this side of the neck, I wanted to resolve it up here, okay? Because I want this to be resolved, the seven to the one, okay? So, I'm going to be using this C shape. So we all know the C shape open chord, right? Okay, in, in, in the world of cage, the cage system, you can slide that up any way you like. And what you'd need to do is you'd need to refret it so it looks like this. Don't worry if you've never tackled cage before, I just want to just briefly explain it to you. So this basically acts as your kind of capo, this first finger here, but I only need to do that one, one note. Um, and there's your C major chord looking, but of course, as I put it on a different root note, so that's an E major, F major, F sharp major, G major. So that's where, where we're concerned at the moment. We're concerned with the G major. The only difference is that I'm gonna, de I deliberately want the open G string. Okay, so therefore I'm just going to literally, literally fret it like I would do an open C major chord, dragged up to the G. Okay, so literally that is all we need to do for this last bit, and we can be really casual with our finger style here, because we've just done this whole, and then we're gonna kind of resolve it like this, okay? So what I love about this chord is the resolve is so hard because we've got a G, an open G, and a G. So we're literally playing G, 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 okay? So octaves of G, plus we've got the major third. Okay, really nice, we don't have the fifth in there anywhere. Really lovely, nice, easy to play chord, and it sounds very resolved. Um, so the way we're actually going to physically play that is we're going to pluck the G on the 8th fret and the 10th fret of the A and the B string, like we've done at the start of every single other bar up to now. Those two go together. And then once you've fretted the chord, you're just going to literally drop down, 
Okay? Thumb, first, second finger, like this. And again. Oh. Three, four. Three, four. So if I put it together with the previous chord, D, like that, again, D, and there we have it. If I put that together with the whole thing, we've got this now. So there we have it. Now, finger style is an amazing thing. It's a really amazing thing because this song is actually at its base, and if I just pick up a plectrum, this. Add the finger style to it. Look how much more interesting that sounds. Of course, you could still strum through that. different sound because with the finger style I can highlight the notes I want and highlight the notes I don't want. Of course with the strumming I don't really want that whole chord like that but with finger style I, I know I'm just just highlighting certain notes okay and this is not me just trying to sell finger style to you in general I just wanted to show you why I love it so much okay you can start to really create something whereby you've got a, a rhythm part, a bass line, a melody, all in one super cool idea. And that's just something really basic that I wrote um, just to teach you guys so you can get a bit of a head start with it. Really from a kind of student point of view, from your point of view, kind of working through this going forward, um, the, the real focus is, is making that right hand feel comfortable, okay? Um, it's at first, it, it feels bizarre, it feels nice, it feels like you're totally out of control. But it just takes a few weeks, perhaps a few months of of doing the same thing over and over again. You know, just like it did when you first maybe picked up a pick and started working on strumming. And this probably felt very foreign to you as well. The first time you put your fingers down to create an open chord, that probably felt extremely foreign. Same process, we have to just go through it over and over again. Lots of consistency, lots of repetition, okay? Use this song as like a bit of a benchmark. Learn it exactly as I've shown it to you and gradually, gradually, You'll get familiar with some of the ideas with the left hand, but more importantly, the right hand will start to settle and feel very comfortable, okay? So there we have it, guys. Make sure you go ahead and download the tab and the workbook is absolutely free. Um, you can get that in the description below. And when you're ready to, you know, properly, you know, get into finger style and learn it from ground up all the way to a point where you're doing super cool, you know, like uh, kind of movements. this kind of stuff as a basic. Um, we're gonna show you through that in our finger style courses and the link will be available for them below as well. So I wish you all the best. It's been an absolute pleasure once again to be on the Guitar Control YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Dan from Your Guitar Academy and I'll see you next time.